Now there are shelves all behind here. This house is from around 1860 or 1870. And this is the top floor. And there are a couple of skylights. If you want to watch TV, you have to come up all the way to the top floor here to watch TV. And this has quite a view. I can see some mountains in the distance. This is Air France. And we've rented this house for a week. And it's way too big for us, but we like the price and the location is good and everything. So this is the top floor room. And these steps are pretty tricky. Someone can sleep up here. There's a nice desk. So offhand it looks like seven people can stay in this house. This is a heated towel rack, a standard bathroom set up for France, a toilet. They ask you to try to only use the toilet on the main floor as much as possible unless it's at night. And this is a shower area. I don't have the light turned on back over here. This house is owned by some Danish people. So we paid the deposit of 450 euros in cash, because otherwise we would have had to wire it to them, which costs a fee, and we didn't really want to do that. It's unusual, though, to pay cash. But I don't see how to turn off the light. Oh, here we go. And I think that this is the shower area light. No, I'm wrong. Okay, I'll figure it out later. So this is the first bedroom, and it's quite nice. The netting is, is quite necessary uh, against mosquitoes, I find. It's a very pretty room. I'm not going to bother opening the window. It's got a big closet. see palm trees and a garden out there and it looks like a courtyard so I'm not going to be in this room anymore this week because a nice marble top on this because uh, I don't need the room second bedroom. It's very, very nice. I'm not going to turn on the two lamps there by the bedside. There's a big closet here. Two windows. There are proper shutters on this. There are nice old beams on the ceiling. It's nice storage furniture. It's really cool. And this is the room we'll be using. Again, the lights aren't turned on. It's about four in the afternoon. I've opened these windows a little bit and braced them so they don't clatter open and shut and break. There's a lot of storage in here, dresser and stuff like that.
really modernized it pretty well. This house is not considered old by French standards, by the way. It's just regular old. It's not super old. Oh, here's this light on in here. I've got to turn this off. Oh, and I hear a fan. Oh, that's good. They have ventilation in there. Okay, now it's all turned off. And... Let's see. Okay. There's good lighting here. Big closet. Blankets. Ironing board. People still iron here. This staircase is tricky. Hey! <laughs> oh, dead legs! Oh, now somebody's pulling the body away. Oh, no. <laughs> I got evidence of it on video. <laughs> All right, here I come with the camera. Better hide the body. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. Now here is oh, there's a front light here. That's good. Now, I don't know what light that does. Bathroom. Single. I don't know why I used that word. There's a big entrance way. I put the coats here up front and the shoes up front here too. Circuit box. Front door. Gate. Balcony. The plants water themselves automatically. Has a huge private garage with a washing machine in it and a big uh, laundry rack. <coughs> Sitting room, tourism brochures, fireplace, it's very pretty. Piano. <laughs> I don't play the piano. <laughs> I'm not going to try <laughs> to play the piano. And a clock, which is not working right now, and I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Living room. <clears throat> there are two doors where you can get out onto the balcony. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. Very pretty, and there's an umbrella down in the garage.
There's a sign on the front door that says, Don't close any cats in the house. There's what this house looks looked like when it snowed here once, which must have been a pretty unusual event. And here's what the house looked like long ago when there was a bandouche at the end of the street and not the French Red Cross as there is now. I'll show the outside of the house in another clip. It's a very pretty, quiet neighborhood. clock works, unlike the last place we just went it. There's lots of stuff here. It's very well equipped. Refrigerator, freezer. Oh, here's a washing machine up here. Oh, that's nice. I saw one in the basement, though, too. Here's a dishwasher. Here's a microwave oven. Here's a French gas stove. And a kitchen area. There's really a lot of stuff here. A lot of supplies and glasses. And there's a hot water heater. Utensils and stuff. Pots and pans down here. It's really neat. So this is an exhaust hood. It says, don't smash your head against it. See, there's a, a little protector thing there, because I guess somebody hurt themselves there. <coughs> so that's it. How much was this place this week? How much was the rental on this? Huh? What? <laughs> it was five hundred, right? Four hundred? Four thirty. Four thirty, wow. Yeah, and four fifty for the deposit. And it that includes the cleaning? That includes the cleaning? Yes. Wow, that's good. And, and the glass in the windows. And the windows and sheets and towels. Okay. <laughs> okay.